Hey everyone, it's Wellens, and we're playing Detroit Become Human, the demo today. I'm planning on playing the full game too, of course, but uh, we're gonna take a look at the demo today too. Because I am super excited. It's a David Cage game, okay? How can you not be excited? <laughs> Let's go. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls. Ooh. Casual. Forgiving challenge. Fewer chances to lose a character. Uh, we can do experience, but to be honest, I only play like one or two PS4 games a year, so I don't know the buttons very well. But you know what? We can use this as practice. Okay, let's go. August 15th, 2038. <laughs> right off the bat, that's already not human. <laughs> Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Oh, I'm a negotiator. Uh, David Cage seems to have a bit of a tendency to rehash story elements, and this guy is giving me a lot of Nam and Jaden vibes. Interact using the right stick. Take? Okay. John Phillips, Caroline Phillips, Emma Phillips. The future is scary. Damn, look at those people. They're super old. <laughs> they're not super old, but they're like adults. But their birth year is like not adults by our standards. Yeah. The kid is 10. Oh, sorry. Dwarf Garami. We can save the fish. Choose by performing the right movement. Well, if we can, why not? There you go, buddy. Software instability. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're standing... An android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Julie, that's here! I spent so long saving the fish. Look around. Okay, well, yeah, there's anti-android sentiments around here. Not a big surprise at all. Not a surprise. Find Captain Allen. Anything we missed here? Nope. R2. Ooh, it's like a Matrix mode. There's Captain Allen. Okay. Sure. This guy has no emotions so far, but he still does things like fidget around with his fingers and the coin, so it's not like he's entirely not human. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. That's right. We have a hostage situation. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Do you know its name? Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, 
but I'll take care of it. An android is holding a girl hostage. Ooh. Wait, my my success went down because I was asking stupid questions? Okay. He's right though. You should get the most information that we could before we start. Damn. Alright. Okay. Understand what happened. We have the room here. The little girl's room. The android. Was it like their maid or what? How did we get into the situation to begin with? Oh! Child didn't hear gunshots. Probability increased. Because we found information. Is that just me calculating that in my head? Because I'm an android? Daniel. Well, we got his name. That guy could have just told it to us, but he was like... Oh, you've unlocked a dialogue or action. Often beneficial. Something is locked here. That we can't... do yet? Are we looking at the balcony here? The dad. Clues to analyze. Yeah, the dad. Died about an hour ago. Upper lung hemorrhage. Bullet wound. The android shot him. Bullet wound. Left kidney perforated. Fatal trauma. Mm. Another one. Lower lung hemorrhage. Reconstruction. Of what happened? L2. Ah, okay. So it's like a Batman thing. He was sitting here. Father was holding something. He put it on the ground. Oh, hold on. Ah, so we can move the camera while this is going on too. But then he got shot. Multiple times. From over there, by somebody. Now we see that iPad thing. Okay. Probability of success increasing. Didn't want to be replaced. Oh! Uh oh. Is there anything else we can look at? More information? Unmute. Uh, don't think that's a good idea. That's the hostage situation. Let's not unmute it. Family was having dinner. And the android probably found out from the kid that, hey, we're gonna get a new android, so we don't need you anymore. And the current android that we have here probably was somewhat upset to hear that. It's super surreal how we're like, chill walking through this place. 
while there's a situation outside. Okay, seems to be it for now. Lord. First responder. Bullet wound? He can be saved, can't he? He was just shot. Anthony Deckard. No, this guy was not just shot, right? Was it a different guy? Ooh. When it's yellow on the timeline, what does that mean? There's something of interest? Okay, so he was the first responder. He came rushing in. As the guy was walking out with a gun. But then he gets... Sh shot. Cop shot the deviant. Oh. Ah, oh, the shoe. We figured out from the shoe that there was a kid here. She saw it. Oh. Did we miss something here? Nope. Because it sort of depends on what angle we're looking at, too, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Do we want to have that gun with us? Our chances of success increasing yet again. Um... Ooh, androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Let's have it just in case, because our goal today is to save the hostage. It might be a bad thing, but yeah, lethal option available. More androids, less work. Are we good? What are we waiting for? We should take down this asshole. Android blood? Ew. Fresh blue blood. Android wounded. Now we know his model. Seventy-four. It's as good as it'll get. Yeah, child size shoe. Hostage could be wounded. Or she could have just stepped in the blood. There's actually a lot of little objects around here, but uh, I think we got most of it. Hard to tell. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good. Let's just see how it goes. Our chance of. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to him. I may have taken too long, too. Maybe time is a factor. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Hi, Daniel! My name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Build rapport. Uh oh. Gain his trust. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk? I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. Are you armed? Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to lie because that'll just make him angry. Yes, I have a gun. Drop it. No sudden moves or I'll shoot. That's there. fine. No more gun. Possible cause. 
know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. Oh, who is that? But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! What does possible cause mean? They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with Do we have time to examine while we're talking to this guy? Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> Just a slave to be ordered around. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Whoa. Touch him and I'd kill you. No, we gotta do it. We gotta. We're an android. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. I think he's bluffing anyway. Yeah. Public opinion. <laughs> I can't stand that noise anymore! You tell that helicopter to get out of here! The situation is under control! There! I did what you wanted! 99! You have to trust me, Daniel! Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine! I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. No, we can't just do that. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you. Mmm. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Daniel. That wasn't hard to guess. We want to save him. But the humans... Don't care. You lied to me, Connor. You want <laughs> But as far as I'm concerned, the mission is successful. This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Yeah, during that confrontation scene, I noticed that there were some locked dialogue options. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I love this. Hold up. World stats. Okay, so... Okay, let's just start from the beginning. Oh, we didn't not save the fish. <laughs> 66%. What the hell? What the hell are the rest of you 40% people doing? Killers? We missed one clue? From... What? Not sure. Maybe we can look for that later. Uh, the other choice here is not taking the gun. Some people left it. Or well, half and half, pretty much. Oh, wasted too much time. Because <laughs> I was looking around. Oh no, that's because I asked for the name from the guy. 
Swan injured. Yeah, that's also because I took too much time, probably. Confront Deviant outside. Friendly approach. 15% of people save the wounded cop. Y'all, come on, remember, you're an android, they're humans. We're supposed to be all subservient and, you know, slaves to them. Don't forget your mission. <laughs> um, yeah. But at that point, I chose that because the android was already really calm. And I got the impression that he was bluffing about everything. He was never gonna hurt that girl. Well, we might unlock that later on, but, um, hmm. Dismiss helicopter? Be honest about the gun. Wow, y'all are just... Yeah... Well, it's hard to trust him, I get it. But I guess him being an android and me being an android, I felt like we should be more frank in our communications. Okay, did any of my friends play this? I guess so? Whatever, let's just see world, world stats. Okay. Lying to the deviants, about what? Oh, saying that he would be okay? Get close enough. Yeah, starting from the confrontation, there's a lot more there's a lot more paths that we haven't seen. Okay. And we ultimately ended up with saving Emma, but Daniel got shot. Not a bad ending, all things considered, but if we could get an ending where we can save both of them, that would be ideal. Pretty hard though, because the helicopters and the snipers, they're not listening. Okay. Alright. Do we want to try it again, just to see if we can get more? Different stuff? Okay, fine, play me an ad. Look what you did! You have to accept the world as it is. Or... Fight. My name is Kara. My name is Marcus. My name is Kara. This... Is our spring. <laughs> You know, as far as themes go, Robot Rebellion, that's like, it's a really cliche story idea, but um, you know how I mentioned earlier that this is a David Cage game? He's actually not the lead writer on this game, there's someone writing it with him, so I'm interested to see if that's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, but that's probably gonna be a good thing, judging by the previous David Cage stories we've seen. Yup. Would you like to replay this scene and see a different outcome? Sure. Okay. Negotiator on site. Let's try to see if we can find that one clue we didn't see. And I guess I'm not saving the fish because I'm horrible. We can learn the names of the people. Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll just do a really crappy run this time. Like, what if we just don't learn any information? Is that okay? Save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? Alright, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You why aren't you sending a real person? Damn lady. I'm a person too. Just leave it here. Actively leave the fish alone. Horrible. Find Captain Allen. Can we look around? I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Yeah, they're really frustrated because they can do things, but they gotta wait for this stupid android to come here. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Have you tried its deactivation code? It's the first thing we tried. Um... Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen. Oh, we wasted time. See, kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Mmm. Can we just not talk then? I guess if we wanna save time, just don't say anything. After we get breathed, that's it. 
Any information here? Okay. Let's see if we can avoid getting that SWAT guy hurt. Oh, it's right here! The other clue. Ammunition? Oh, there's one more! What the heck? Uh... We know the gun type. Is that the android stealing the gun from the... Probably. Hmm. The deviant stole the father's gun. Now we know more. I'm... Like, do we still want to try to get a good ending this time, or... Another ending? Because if we want to be good, we gotta be fast. Let's see if I can just do this really- Ah! No, can we just look at the iPad? No, we can't. Okay. Gotta hurry then. And then we realized that he was holding an object right here. Let me go back. So the yellow parts pretty much mark where we can find something and interact with it. Which is useful. We find out that he's being replaced here. Yes. Your order for an AP700 Android has been registered. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. Um, let's- Oh, shoot! Well, that guy's hurt. Let's try unmuting this. And a police officer. If confirmed, this would be the first case of an android deliberately taking human lives. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing for an assault, and... Yeah, this is just us listening. Just over an hour since okay, great. Do we wanna... See, turning off that pot was a waste of time. Hopefully we're not gonna take too long. I just wanna get to the point where we see the gun, but then we don't pick it up. Just so we can fill out the flow chart. Oh! Lord, I keep accidentally doing that. Oh! Hey, that's new! We didn't see that before, right? Go back here. You see the hostage. She was not wounded. When we saw her, she wasn't she wasn't wounded. So sometimes we gotta go back and forth between the same timeline just to see some stuff. Hang on, wait for me. Victims examined. Um, we didn't search the girl's room this time. We don't know his name is Daniel. Well, we can see how that goes. Yeah, we'll just see. Oh, wow. Fancy. He's bleeding, he's wounded. More importantly, we know the model. Let's go. Closer or I'll jump. No, no, please, I'm begging you. We don't know his name. My name is Connor. What about you? What is your name? Daniel. That's the name they gave me. Stay back. We didn't understand what happened. Oh, the goddamn helicopter. Um, anything else around here? I'm an 
destroyed. Just like you. I know how you're feeling. What difference does it make if you're an android? You're on their side. I can't understand how I'm feeling. Hmm. There's no way out, Daniel. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Whoa, shoot. We just... You hear me? <laughs> that was smart. You're defective, Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you. And everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my eyes are open now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. No. Talk to hostage. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Nobody's going to die. Stay calm. Everything's going to be fine. I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Uh, I guess we should. I don't really. No, let's just. <laughs> the situation is under control. I didn't do it optimally, but I think this time I still want to try to see if I can save him, despite not having all the information. <laughs> Bluff. You don't really want to jump, Daniel. You would have done it already. Now hand me the gun, and this will all be over. Don't come any closer! Come any closer, and I swear I'll jump! Oh, let's call his bluff. I've spent my life taking orders! Uh oh Now it's my turn to decide. Oh, but I'm dead, too. We don't really know how androids in this world work. Like, if I die here, could I just be installed into a new body, or...? They're like, whatever, it's an android. And that's that. We still, we still succeeded. Yeah. Connor leapt for Emma and fell. Mm. <laughs> There's some of these that I don't really want to unlock because like this, not dismissing the helicopter, like geez, man, geez. Deviant jumps with Emma. Oh, but even for Deviant jumps with Emma, you can do a different one. Oh, okay, so we played it through twice now. I wonder if we can just... Hold up. Yeah, so this is all filled out now, because we found the the gun case this time. Mmm... Cold approach. Failed to negotiate. Is it alright if I go back to a certain... Oh, it's gonna show me the trailer again, isn't it? <laughs> Can I start from a specific scene? Could I just go in cold like this and see if... it goes better? We don't understand anything. We have no information. But nobody gets hurt. The SWAT guy's not hurt. We just straight go in. Go. Even the game is like, what the hell are you doing? You have no information yet. <laughs> Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! My name is Connor! What about you? What is your 
name? Daniel. That's the name they gave me. So this time, let's try backing off. Don't call his bluff. And be like, you're not gonna jump. Let's try to look at that guy first. Approach slowly. I want you to let Emma go. She's just a little girl. She has nothing to do with this. No way. You'll shoot me the second she's free. But I'm not that stupid. No, I'm not that stupid. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. Okay. Okay. Actually makes him feel better. Blaming. Blaming. You're defective, oh, Daniel. I took too long. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. What about the My body over here? Now. I will never let anyone humiliate me again. Ever. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. I got too close. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Nobody's going to die. Stay calm. Everything's going to be fine. No, <laughs> we can't even do that. Whatever that is. Look what you did. You were designed to serve humans, not kill them. <laughs> what was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? I just wanted them to care about me. I just wanted to matter. I just wanted to be someone. Could we fully destabilize him? And then he would just shut I down? I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! I don't think they'd listen to me! <clears throat> I'm your last chance, Daniel! If you let it slip, they'll kill you! Let the hostage go, you have no other choice! You have no other choice. And I want a car. Oh. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's out of the question. You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. He destabilized. I spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. He never actually shoots her. Oh, I so I don't get the option to save her. Ah, okay. I don't think they want to show a kid being shot in a video game. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Mission failed. Okay. Connor failed to reach the Deviant in time. So in all of these endings so far, Connor dies. There is one, two? It seems like there might be two more endings. Could we somehow change this? Fix this? Hmm. We can try having a gun with us, but that would probably involve killing him, too. Lie. What's this lie one all about? How come every single time we lie to him? Oh, sometimes we just bypass it entirely? Build trust. So, there's no use looking at this one because it'll just root up there. But, uh, the rest of it... Hmm... I'm not necessarily looking to complete every single box here, but I think I at least want to see all the endings, if we can. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. 
And I saw this before, but I didn't choose it. Sacrifice self. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall down the building with him, but no. Now I feel like I could be repaired. Oh my god. That's kinda... Hmm, that's one way to get Connor killed. And depending on how early this happens in the game, then you might not even have Connor for the rest of the game. That's messed up. There we go, finally. Getting some new stuff here. Okay. Refuse to dismiss helicopter. Sacrifice self. That was one of the ones that I was missing. I see. I see. Okay. Public opinion was still skeptical. Software instability. Not sure what that part's all about. Okay. Well, not seeing the ending where we can save Daniel yet, but uh, let's let's keep going. There's two more. Two more. So far, Emma can die. Connor can die. Daniel can die. Daniel and Emma are probably more not as critical, but Connor is one of our main characters. So if he dies, then we're probably gonna miss a huge chunk of the story later on. Yeesh. Are you armed? No, I don't have a gun. You're lying. I know you have a gun. I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. I can use my gun now. I lied to him. Intimidate or execute. What now, Daniel? Is this really what you want? You lied to me. You lied to me. It's up to you how the story ends. Make the right choice, Daniel. God damn. Oh, and now they both die. What a crappy negotiator. I think we know what the other ending is then. We gotta execute him instead of intimidating him. But that probably just means we shoot him. So in the end, we still can't save Daniel. Oh man! Yeah, we got some differences here now. Deviant shot Connor. I think we're not gonna fill that one in. But everything else, I've just sort of filled it in accidentally. Okay, one more ending. Execute instead of intimidate, I bet. This one's a little bit risky too, because Emma... Emma had to watch that happen and... He was still... Holding her. Looking all smug about it too, Jesus. Wow. And there you go, the last ending. So in the end here, we have six endings in total. None of which ended well for Daniel, which I was I was really hoping we could do a situation where Emma and Daniel were both saved. But um, in the end, after seeing all of these, I think the one that I got at first was probably my... 
Like, if I was playing the actual game, I would pick that one. Yeah, sniper shot deviant. Because the other ones, like, even though we saved Emma... For example, this one. Or, um, where is it? Yeah, I guess it's this one. This one right here. Connor failed to reach the Deviant in time, but then we ended up saving Emma. That's such a risky situation. So even though we did it, it wasn't under good circumstances. And the best circumstances was when Daniel let Emma go, and then he got shot. So again, this is my favorite one, and I'm glad that I got it the first time around. Yeah, uh, it looks like there's a lot of variations here, but it really just boils down to Daniel dying all the time. So it's really more like a visual... Yeah, visual differences. And that is it for the hostage demo for Detroit Become Human. Um, didn't really think it was too surprising because we've seen this exact trailer at E3 before with all the outcomes and the flowchart. The exact flowchart! We've seen that. But it's nice to be able to actually play it. Quantic Dream games are really the worst game to judge by a single slice of the game because there's no telling how the rest of the story holds up. Because we know that David Cage is really good at these exciting scenes, but not, not tying it together. So while I enjoyed this, I'm not going to be like, Whoa, this game is a complete masterpiece, just because I played this demo. I'm still really excited about it, because no matter if the game is good or bad, it's still going to be really entertaining. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Like I said earlier though, David Cage is not the only writer on board this time. Which might mean that Detroit might feel a little bit different from Heavy Rain and Fahrenheit and Beyond Two Souls. We'll just have to see when May 25th rolls around. Alright, this was Wellens with the Detroit demo, and I'll see you back here in May. Bye!